When your AC stops working, just call the experts at KS Services Heating and Air. They're fast and affordable. Right now, purchase any Bryant Energy Efficient System and save with 0% interest for 60 months with approved credit. It comes included with a five-year labor warranty. And our fair price guarantee means that we will always give you three quotes for every situation. A good, better, and best. Call KS Services Heating and Air today. We roll on whatever it takes. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, September 19th. I'm James Spann. Got some pretty strong storms in scattered pockets around the state today. The tropics, of course, are very active. Maria is the big headline. Much to talk about. Let's dive right in. There's the water vapor satellite view this afternoon. Big trough in the western states producing snow for the mountains. Flat, warm ridge here across the deep south. Jose off the upper Atlantic coast. And quite frankly, a little more storms than we bargained for today. Uh, we expected the storms to be out there, but more widely scattered. They're pretty numerous. In fact, some spots uh, getting pounded uh, at uh, 232. That is a severe thunderstorm warning up in northeast Alabama for parts of Marshall and DeKalb counties. At that time, big storms were sitting over parts of Cullman and Blunt counties around Smith Lake, west of Birmingham, moving east. I get the idea this will be the day with the best coverage of rain for the next five to seven days. So hopefully you got some today. Chance of rain, not zero for the rest of this week, but the storm should become very isolated. Where rain is falling, we have 70s, only 70 up in Decatur. They've had a storm today, Huntsville 72, but down to the south, Montgomery at 92, where they are in sunshine. Around the nation, cold in the northwest, and again, mountain snow falling there. Pretty warm here across the southern states with uh, 80s and a few 90s back in parts of Texas. There's the watch warning map. Winter weather advisories for parts of the mountains out west, red flag warnings for uh, parts of the western high plains, and uh, tropical storm issues off the upper Atlantic coast because of Jose. A, an enhanced risk of severe weather for the rest of today and tonight. Parts of the Dakotas and Minnesota. Tomorrow, a marginal risk well to the north, and on day three, Thursday, a marginal risk for parts of northern Minnesota. Rain for the next seven days, really not much. And again, today we got a little bit of bonus rain here, so that's going to be the biggest rain of the next seven days, most likely. Additional rain, one-half inch or less for the north, around one-half inch for the south, valid through Tuesday of next week. Tropics, the ghost of Lee is out in the central Atlantic, not expected to regenerate. We've got Jose and Maria. Will they do the hokey pokey, the Fujiwara effect next week? We'll see. Let's take a look at Jose. This thing is still... Hanging on as a hurricane, top wind 75 miles an hour. Actually looks pretty decent on the satellite presentation. Still expected to weaken into a tropical storm tomorrow. And then it loops in the Atlantic east of Long Island over the weekend. And, and the question is, can this thing hang around long enough to impact the track of Maria? And the best possible case, this thing leaves a big weakness in the ridge and it allows Maria to scoot out to sea without touching land. And wow, Maria is just a beast. Uh, it's a Go 16 still image taken early this afternoon. Let's roll some animation here, a very close-up look into the eye. You can see those mesoscale vortices rotating through the eye. That's just horrifying. That is just graphic violence you're watching here. We've never seen this in such high resolution before. This is all thanks to Go 16, the new satellite. Uh, top winds 165 miles per hour. An extremely dangerous Category 5. No change in the track coming up toward the Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico uh, tonight and tomorrow. Uh, and this will be extremely destructive. Kind of scoots along the northern coast of the Dominican Republic Thursday and then turns northward and mainly stays east of the Bahamas this weekend. Tropical models in pretty good agreement, holding it uh, east of the Bahamas on that NHC track. We'll go out in the longer range. This is the GFS all but one member of the ensemble, they keep it offshore. The mean, you look for the black line, and you can see it's well offshore, maybe approaching the Canadian Maritimes. European ensemble, again, look for the black line, well offshore. Got a few members closer in, but uh, confidence is growing. This will not be a storm that hits the East Coast. We can't say that with total certainty at this point, though. If there's any good news here, Maria is most likely, most likely peaking in intensity right now. Uh, it should slowly ramp down, but understand this thing will still be a major hurricane for four days at least. Let's check the uh, GFS. This is the 12Z run valid tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock Central Time. This is at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up. 
cold trough in the northwestern states. Flat ridge down here. And again, we could see a few scattered storms. I honestly don't think we have as many as today. Uh, odds are many places will be dry. Jose is southeast of Long Island. And Maria is on top of Puerto Rico. Thursday, our weather's not going to change much. Warm, humid, highs well up in the 80s, mostly upper 80s with only isolated or widely scattered afternoon storms. Uh, this is Friday. Maria beginning to make that north turn. No big change here. Jose still doing the loop out there. And this is Saturday as the weekend begins. Highs, upper 80s, partly sunny, widely scattered afternoon storms. Go to Sunday, same thing for us. And you can see Jose is really beginning to fizzle. But it should leave a weakness in the ridge up there. And that should allow an escape route for Maria without touching the East Coast. We go to Monday. Uh, Maria is off the coast of the Carolinas. Jose is fizzling. This is a week from today, Tuesday the 26th. Troughing in the west, ridging in the east. And again, Maria wants to take the route east of the east coast of the United States on out to sea. Still a deep hurricane at that point. Uh, this is Thursday of next week, the 28th. Maria on the way out. And on Friday the 29th, the end of next week. Still got a flat ridge here. Looks pretty quiet. And Maria is out Check the numbers if you're tired of the warmth. Uh, hey, about the time October hits, just like magic. Hey, highs go back in the 70s and lows in the 50s. Doesn't that sound good? That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. AC broken? Just call KS Services Heating and Air. All Bryant Energy Efficient Systems come with a five-year labor warranty, and our fair price guarantee means that we'll always give you three quotes for every situation. Just call KS Services Heating and Air today.